Business Cleanup Day is part of a wider Cleanup Australia Day initiative, which sees people from around Australia collect litter from their parks, beaches and community areas. In the past 27 years, Australians have devoted 32 million hours towards the environment for Cleanup Australia Day and have collected over 344 tonnes of waste. Kundal is passionate about creating a cleaner and more sustainable world. Because of this, Kundal is the world's first consultancy to be endorsed as a One Planet company by sustainability charity Bioregional. As part of 10 One Planet principles, we look to protect existing natural habitats, so we thought taking part in Clean Up Australia Day would be a great idea. This year, we joined forces with companies from North Sydney for the North Sydney Council's Clean Up Australia Day event. We went to Gore Cove Beach off Berry Island, where we not only picked up rubbish from the shore, but took to cleaning up the water as well. From afar, the reserve looked pristine and clear. However, when we had a closer look, we found there was a lot of litter in the water and washed up on the shore. I got involved with Clean Up Australia Day because I thought that we live in such, we're so lucky to work and live in such a beautiful area of Sydney. It is disappointing sometimes when we go for runs or out of the office to see bits of litter and rubbish. So I thought it's a good idea to get involved and get rid of it. The thought of cleaning up the, the beaches was very exciting to me because I, I spent a lot of time in the beach in, over the weekends and I always notice a lot of rubbish uh, being thrown out everywhere. I think it's just a great day to get everyone mindful about um, waste and about picking up their rubbish. Uh, well, the most interesting thing I found was a little uh, a keychain that I got to keep. Uh, I think the most unusual thing I found today was a pair of pants uh, and also a shoe. So I'm nearly there for an outfit. A, a hat that looked like it had been under the water for about three years. It was full of algae and shells and pretty sure it had an oyster growing on it. So that was probably the weirdest thing I found today. Plastic bags. Plastic bottles. A little bit of plastic. So many tiny little bits of plastic. Plastic cups. Little bits of clear plastic floating all through the water, all through the sand. Um, that was definitely the number one thing that I found. The rubbish was getting washed on shore, so it was all around the beaches. You know, when you put a rake in there, every time you get like a jellyfish looking piece of plastic. Pick up those tiny little pieces because they make a big difference. Collect your rubbish and don't even, no matter how small the, the rubbish is. Probably just to be aware of what you do 